this is going to be stream sponsored by Coffee, of course. This is going to be Lotus 2 Rex on the Mega Drive. So this is a port, apparently, of the Amiga game Lotus Turbo Challenge 3, The Revenge. Um, and as you can see, the menu is exactly the same as one, with like a couple of tiny additions. No idea what this is. Um, it's already done the controls. Hello, meow! So that is a very, very recognisable one. There's another cool rocking track on over the menu. I haven't actually seen the game yet. I don't know what define is, it gives you a load of weird codes, I can't understand it. I don't have the instructions either, just the box. So let's get right into it. Let's have a chance. Oh, yeah, we can select. Nice. Okay, land. Speed. And then you... Oh, I think let's go to the console car. This is a car that never even came out. The most interesting fact about the game. Oh! What the hell? Is it like Outrun? We've got an actual... Yes! We've got music in the game and it's selectable. This is a huge upgrade from the original. Bit of electro boogaloo. More tracks than Outrun even. Oh, that's the main one. Alright, let's go for this. I really wish they had the original music from the old one there. That'd be cool. Race one of seven, I think, although one and seven are the same. Three stages. Let's do it. Is there a yeehaw? There's certainly only two buttons being used, so that's possible. Oh. Have they, um, taken out sound effects to accommodate the music, maybe? Oh dear, so they, were either, they could either do music or sound effects, and now they've had to choose music, which is better, but... Hits! What the hell is there laps on this? It's crazy, okay, there's already some uh, advancements over the original. The graphics are basically the same, I'm just assuming this is just the same engine. I think we made the right choice choosing music, but you'd much rather have both. <laughs> Give them the choice. Nice smooth scrolling. So we've got a lot of up and down, so it's cool. I have made some upgrades. The main upgrade to this, that we're not going to do really pay much attention to, is there's a course creator on it now, which is pretty cool for the Mega Drive. I can't imagine any other racing game would have had that. Correct me if I'm wrong there, but um, so we'll have a quick look at it. What's the red bar on the right then? The left one is my acceleration. I'm not sure what the other one is. Okay, that was quite a fair checkpoint. Which is, wait, my car's like drifting to the right. Is it got damage? Oh, it's windy, that's why the um, tumbleweed's going. Okay, so this is a windy level. I like music. It, it's, you can easily imagine how this happens, can't you? Like in the first one, like people were like, we've got to have engine sounds in the game, that's what people want. And then every review was like, what the hell is this garbage, where's the music? And they were like, okay, well, <laughs> we'll take that out and put it in with the uh, music everybody wants instead. It's weird, isn't it? Because it, it kind of takes you out of the reality of racing when you've got no sound effects. It's, that's why most games have both, probably. Um, how do you pit, then? I can't see the pits. Well, do you just go into the right-hand lane or something? Maybe the orange the other bar is my fuel? Is that one a time I can't really answer? Yeah, exactly, yeah, you want music, well we know the limitations and we can't have both, so you ask for this. Low fuel, okay, so I should be. Alright, so there's a lot more elements in this. Nice. Uh, yeah, I'm going to set up for it. It's because they do a good job with the music. They're, they're uh, whoever's doing their uh, music tracks does a great job. You got, they have to have one more soundtrack than Outrun would have as well. Oh, we did it, you don't need to pay then. Hey, I came first! You on my first try, this is very different to Lotus 1. Alright, time for the second race. Oh, you can change between each one. Just go through. Excellent, I'm liking this a lot more already. The codes are better than the hard choose compared to uh, the old ones are just names, but that's fine. Oh, it's intense. What's 20? Is that just the number representing representation of that bar? That's like Gremlin. This is just, oh yeah, this is just like level two in like the jungle. Got a weird grey road. It feels like they should be marking it. It's kind of like the best that they can kind of have on. 
front of it, and I'm quite sure if you're like, like this is any worth it, because it was the most expensive. Oh, the phone, the doorbell's going to cost me. Hang on, the video's now. I'm going to try and take the YouTube channel off this year. Downstairs. Race towards the Eiffel Tower, Space Needle. Oh, there's seven. Is that my position? Maybe. Maybe. So I was wanting to get that big sound. This is getting, this is good. That colour because in the uh, uh, track it had like two pairs. One was pink, and one was some other weird colours. Okay. Okay, so that's it. Oh. Okay, so it's like a blend of two. Oh, kilometres. Yeah, you have to imagine because this is their concept car. Yeah, so now when you pass the generic cars, you actually get a little number increase, so it actually feels like you're racing. Like in the last one, it just seems like it's just a random car on the street, and just a random car on the street. It's just about saying it's a break. This is a good difficulty curve, though, for the first two levels. It's good. Mostly because I'm winning, but it, like, this is slightly off. Oh, it's checkpoint! Crap, we need a pit now. Just go right, does it work? How does it work? Is there a button? Oh, no. Is there a button for the pit? Just kind of screwed. So, you just said that. Do I have to, like, go into the... First, uh... That's it, just lose. How do you pit then? Wow. Please kept, keep the save for the second race without me having to remember it. Oh my god, do I have to do both again? Boo! What's the controls? It's not on here. There's no like pit in button. Maybe I'll try and pit on the first race just so I can test it. Ah, it clears it! Oh my god, I'm getting Arrogs today. Is it B to select? Okay, let's pit this race. Can you do colours? Damn it, alright. That's so annoying, so let's try and pit here. Even though we don't need to, I don't mind if I just don't win. There's only C left, and that's not Yee High. I guess the sound check's being taxed, so it's not a thing. I like the idea of a windy stage, but I don't think that should be the first stage of the game, because it's confusing, because you just think, oh, like, how do you pit? Do you just stop, or what? Oh, I've got the instructions in the so maybe you just come to a stop. Cool. I really like it. Nice. It's more something for everyone here. Yeah, having the first level would be the windy one. It means you start going right all the time. You think, is it broken? Has the game got bad controls? Or am I playing badly? It's not the best to have on the first level. But having loads of top points going across the stage is a nice little. I don't know that's what's going on. Hopefully, we get all the logs and jumps and stuff later as well. I really want to get a bit further with this. I'll try and break it. I'll get a and see if that works. Alright, let's try this. I just stop. Yeah, you stop. Okay. Alright. Fine. 
Okay, at least we're meeting. That's about the only other mechanic we have in the whole game, so. Ah, uh, mechanic joking going on. Oh, I'm not looking at the screen. <laughs> Alright, we got it, we can pit next time. I like that, I wonder if there is any tactics to, like, me feeling a bit after lap one and just carrying on. Is it worth doing in the end? Is, like, is, it actually, is it just a. You always pit just on the last lap? But, It's quite high tones here. <laughs> oh yeah. The people were just going for it in the music lab at uh, Gremlin, weren't they? I think cause the Amiga soundtrack is very good as well. It was just nice to deal with and they were just messing with it loads. That's what I Because I think that's the definitive version of the game. Annoyingly as well, there's, I had to look up to see what to call this Twitch stream. Because I was like, well there's no Lotus 2 Rex. And this is Lotus the Ultimate Challenge. Um, and on the Amiga, if you put in certain names to play one and two, there's a hidden like spaceship game. I was like, why isn't that ported to the Mega Drive? Come on, man! I'm really disappointed to me that we don't get that. Man, I'm still second, and I already pitted. I th and the idea of having, I don't like races where it's lots of laps at the same pace. I'd rather have point to point like the original. But on the first few tracks, it is a good design and it means you can remember the difference between the first lap and win. Ah, oh, it's me, Arg, Pete Daniels, Esquire. Anybody other good ones? Simon Shaw, Kerry, and Shirley. We'll go back to three. Got to please the viewers because they're all pretty good to me. I'm, they're, none, they're none that are like, oh no, it's not like Megalomania where the music's bad the whole game. Here we go. All we have to do is pit and we can win. Oh, it's a spree. I don't know if I'm remembering this wrong, but it feels like there's more uh, animation on the car for like left and right. It feels like there's more frames on it than there's the original. It immediately feels like it. This is actually what I'm definitely going to play this two player game. Oh, this is good. Nice little backing track there. Nice. This could have been a real contender if it's got, uh, if it had that sound effect. It's, it's actually got the level construction as well. That'd be pretty much everything you need to be in the top of this. Obviously, the car selection is relatively good, but then you don't even have that. Anymore. Select how far you want to feel that's good. Hope that's good. That is good, at least it's not just it fills it up because that will take out all the strength. Especially in two players, you can be paying any time to be like, Yeah, I like that a lot, it's good. You kind of go over the pits where you have the entire selection of one. That's great for this one, because it's a bit of a but you don't need to extra for the sake of it. Yeah, I really feel like there's more turning animation here. Like when you do a steep turn. Oh, don't just stop music. Restart, come on. Good. It's got a loop. That'd be such an oversight. Yeah, you should be careful with that because it's not just you come a bit lower in race, it's the end of your career. Nice, took that one. Well. 
myself. Pro power is in effect again. This is the best coffee in existence now. My favourite beans are now freshly ground. Alright. What zero? Nothing. Do you, I take it you get sound effects if you do that. Let's do it. I don't want to, but we're, we're trying to show off a game here. So, oh wow, is this not afraid? Yep, you get sound effects if you do this. So you get the choice, that's cool. Oh, is there seriously no yee-haw? Oh, that was the only reason I did it! And you still get the weird UFO sound effect. Oh, we got weird drifty handling now because we're off-road. Who's racing the Lotus Esprit off-road anyway? It's going to be hard, isn't it? Much thinner mode and bad handling. Oh my god, do not select no music. That's my number one hint for this game. It ruins these moments. Listen to this. Take your lowest back to the shop if it sounds like this. That's cool, nice effect from that. I really want to see some other stages because there's one the, the near track mode was showing cool stuff like there's a snow one. There's a brilliant beach level. Uh, so I want to see what I have if we can. Oh my god. So it sounds like you can't run out of time, you just come last basically if you do terribly. Okay, so there's that one lapse. We've hardly used any fuel, so if there's only three, we're fine. Unless that's just a normal checkpoint. No, I think that's it. So I don't need to worry about fuel, really. Which is good, because I'm going to lose anyway. Listen to this horror. There's not even a meow sound when someone else goes past. No yee-haw is inexcusable. That's what people came to those Turbo Challenge for, isn't it? Let me pass you, stupid car. You are a beggar. Come on. Slowly going up the ranks. Let's get top ten. Ah! Come on. Hopefully they won't be able to get past me because it's quite thin. Let's see. They might just clip through. feel like the start. I might have to hit off to the next checkpoint. This doesn't actually feel like a lap base level. So maybe it's not paying enough attention, but that was a really long corner, I don't remember. Nice, that was lucky. Nice. Okay, I'll pit for scene. I really hope I do. So measuring it for the first lap means we should be fine if it was laps. Oh, okay, which is great. Alright, top 10, I'll take it. That was hard as hell, though. Come second. Right, let's go back to some good music. Desert. Four stages, alright, so we might have to uh, pit. Hey, it's cacti. Oh, I like the road texture, that's kind of cool. It's going to be trippy. Oh, I didn't start at the back of the field, that's good. Oh, rocks now, damn son. Where's 
the other one looks like. It starts out near impossible and then just immediately becomes impossible. Okay. But it might be alright fuel wise, it's gonna be close, I think. I guess that's the key to not being able to try and break it to the scrubs of the world. I don't feel very good, so. Uh oh. Oh my god. That's a bit again. I'm not going to lose to that. It's bad pitting now. 
speed, that's it. Oh my god, there's like a billion laps. There's the pit. Damn, I should just fill up. Is that red line thing how many checkpoints you've got? Maybe that is. I never really saw what that one. It's not actually that hard. Laser. Damn it, I can crush me. Oh, that was horrible. Right, I'm going to look up a password. That is uncool. I, I made it to the feeling thing. I'm not satisfied with that. It should leave me the password anyway. Unless it does. Oh my god. Alright, fine. Where's the password? Oh, here we go, cool, right. So, one, two, three, let's take five. It's gonna be a while. So close. Oh, 
level one. Damn it! Why? Hang on, let me try. No, this is just... I'm so confused. How do you get constructed? It's defined. I can't understand this. Like... Hey? What the hell is going on? C for random. Is this like a set of races you go into, maybe? Is what you selected, that's good. Cool. How do you start racing like that? Because the coat is there. Oh, God, it's really clear with these. Oh, 
ました。Okay, okay. Oh, this is the space one. All right, we actually did it. This is it. Right,、well, this is the level I made. So you, once you've done your level creation, oh, is the music gonna say no? What the hell? Did I just select the wrong music? Oh, why can't they just go right? And this, this is not the stream you want for this game. Okay, at least we get to see what I can create. So loads of hills. Point to point, which is good. Oh, lots of lasers. Oh my god, the sound! I can't do it. Let's. What I'm gonna do now is construct. No, come out of that. Define. Go Rex, and now we're gonna do a rain stage. So basically, a similar thing. Is it? No, I actually am using that board to finish anything. Yep. Cool. Right here we go. This is quite cool. You can set up any. You don't want to be like, oh, I want to race my friend on like a rain, then a space, then I think you just do it. Sweet. Shame it's no rain sound effects. Great. Oh, you slide around, which is good. The rocks. I've got obstacles higher than I am. Nice. I mean, even further, if they could have done like, you select a weather effect on top of whatever stage you're doing. Night rain, snowy space level, or whatever. In space, it's not too bad. I think we're just clipping through those. Really, I don't know why scenery high is an option. Is that just roadside stuff? Obviously, maybe it's speeding up. But that's yeah. I can definitely see us actually playing this for a bit of fun. Trying to make things. It's just so sad about my bad pit stop. Speed and even how fast you go. Maybe it just looks like it's just a little bit slow. Look, slow and slow down. Nah, maybe not. I've seen lightning with no sound effects. It's sad because it's so cool. It's like some thunder in the game. I wonder if you get that if you switch like music off, but that's a pretty bad trick. What's that? Four checkpoints. We should make it. I should do is I might even do this: is go through the game and put all the passwords in the game if they choose, because they're just not there.、And、I think I probably will do that because it just seems crazy that you know someone wants to search for those. The ones I did find with the Amiga and obviously didn't work out. Think about this: is the whole Lotus saga of me getting the games is a friend gave me、uh, Lotus Lotus Challenge because they obviously had it for many years,、um, and so we played it, finished it, and then you know shortly after that, a couple of weeks later, just in a retro game shop over here, and they just had managed to get in Lotus Two Rex. So who goes and gets that for a retro shop? That's mad. I can't imagine anyone over here owned it. I guess they did. It's such a you know, what's it, a rare game. People just didn't buy it. I think.、Um, So yeah, so I thought I have to have that. Obviously, you're just providing something. So that's why I'm playing the new game. Race over. Over race. Game over. Wow, that's harsh. Couldn't just say you are great. Cool. All right. Well, there you go. So that's、uh, Lotus Challenge. So this is actually a good game, and it's worth getting on the Mega Drive. It's not. It's not Red Rash 2. It's not going to be your best favorite game driving out of the Test Drive, the Jewel. I guess is better. But it's, it's good. Music's good. Things you can do if you want to be able to create your own levels and have infinite replayability. Great. So yeah, just get, go out and get your Mega Drive today. You want racing games? This, is, this should be up there with your choices. All right. Well, thank you very much for watching. We'll start. <laughs> we'll catch you next time.